We've been mistreating and contaminating the ecosystem that nourishes us for years. However, the widespread environmental concern can be so overwhelming that many people are unsure of what to do or where to begin making a difference. Due to industrialization and urbanization, our planet Earth has seen an enormous negative environmental changes over the previous 200 years. Because we still rely on fossil fuels to meet the great bulk of our energy needs, population growth and modern living standards have increased energy consumption, causing severe environmental deterioration. Hello there folks, and in this video, we will enumerate some of the environmental catastrophes that we are experiencing and some of the ways to fix them. But before we get into it, if you're a subscriber, thank you and welcome back to Gen XYZ Finance and Technology. If you're new to this channel, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so we can let you know when we upload more videos. Let's go ahead and get to it with number one on our list, deforestation. Deforestation is the rapid loss of trees and forests at an alarming rate. Agriculture is the major driver of deforestation, which is another one of the most serious environmental issues on this list. The land is cleared to make way for cattle or to cultivate crops like sugarcane and palm oil. Forests help to reduce soil erosion and landslides in addition to carbon sequestration. Tree roots bind the soil and prevent it from washing away due to erosion and landslides. Forests the size of 20 football fields are cut down every minute. By 2030, only 10% of the world's woods may remain, and if deforestation continues, they may all be gone in less than 100 years. One of the hardest hit places on Earth is the Amazon rainforest. Referred to as the lungs of the planet, the Amazon could previously be counted on to add enormous amounts of oxygen into the atmosphere and take CO2 out. Now, after decades of burning down millions of trees, our lungs are in trouble. Short-sighted farmers and industrialists in Brazil employ the worst possible method to clear trees – burning. Not only are they wiping out the trees and animal habitats, but by burning them, they release staggering quantities of CO2 into the atmosphere. Here are some ways on how we can combat deforestation. Support large tree planting initiatives. Use less paper. Recycle paper and cardboard. Use recycled products. Buy only sustainable wood products. Buy products made from wood substitutes such as bamboo and hemp. Do not burn firewood excessively. Practice ecoforestry. Next up is global warming and climate change. The combustion of fossil fuels, vehicular emissions, and chlorofluorocarbons all contribute to the increase of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere where they are trapped. As a result, the Earth's temperature has risen, producing environmental changes that are now known as global warming. Global warming and climate change have become a worldwide threat because of, well, human activity. Changes in average global temperatures, extreme weather events, rising sea levels, and other negative effects have resulted from rising CO2 and other greenhouse gas levels. Excessive deforestation, industrialization, and overfilling landfills, all of which produce CO2 and contribute to greenhouse gas emissions, are the leading causes of these environmental changes. Other less obvious calamities include the bleaching of coral reefs, which are havens for thousands of species of marine life. Reefs take a long time to grow but can be killed off by warming waters very quickly. This is already happening at the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. All life forms are effective, both directly and indirectly, by these changes. And yes, we humans are the primary reason and will suffer the consequences. But here are some ways to avoid this environmental issue. Plant more trees. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Power your home with renewable energy. Reduce water waste. Invest in energy-efficient appliances. Drive a fuel-efficient vehicle. On to number 3, Wildlife Conservation Plant and animal species, as well as their habitats, are protected through wildlife conservation. Wildlife, as a component of the world's ecosystems, contributes to the balance and stability of natural processes. The preservation of our planet's biodiversity or the variety of species found in a given habitat requires wildlife protection. Every species native to a particular environment, no matter how minor, has a certain function to fulfill. Biodiversity ensures the survival of all species, including animals, plants, and insects. 
It is more important than ever to concentrate our efforts on wildlife protection. Wildlife populations have fallen at a rate of 1,000 to 10,000 times faster than expected without human intervention due to an unfortunate combination of variables such as habitat loss, invading predatory species, and disease. Indeed, human activity directly threatens 99% of the present at-risk species. Naturally, climate change factors into every factor of life on Earth and it threatens animals as well. Recent horrific images from raging fires in Australia and California demonstrate the tragedy befalling animals in hot zones. Melting ice caps and glaciers present another threat as water supplies dry up downstream. These are the ways to prevent wildlife loss. Avoid forest hunting. Dispose of waste properly. Maintain a healthy backyard habit. Support an organization that fights to save endangered species. Advocate for conservation. Reduce or remove meat, dairy, and eggs from your diet. Number four is agriculture. Agriculture not only consumes a large amount of fresh water, but it also requires a large area of land, make it one of the most significant environmental issues on this list. Arable fields and grazing pastures cover one-third of the Earth's land surface area, yet they utilize three-quarters of the world's limited freshwater resources. According to studies, the global food system is responsible for up to one-third of all human-caused greenhouse gas emissions, with livestock and fisheries accounting for 30%. The use of fertilizers and crop cultivation emits greenhouse gases such as nitrous oxide. Cattle ranching takes up 60% of the world's agricultural land, yet accounts for only 24% of worldwide meat consumption. It releases massive amounts of methane into the atmosphere, rivaling automotive exhaust. Scientists and environmentalists have long warned that we need to rethink our existing food system. Shifting to a more plant-based diet would drastically cut the conventional agriculture industry's carbon footprint. Meat substitutes are also a viable way to mitigate the harm caused by feedlot farming. Next up is pollution. Pollution occurs when toxins are introduced into the natural environment and cause harm. It can be in the form of any state of substance, solid, liquid, or gas, or it might be in the form of energy, such as radioactivity, heat, sound, or light. The two most devastating forms of contamination we're presently facing are water and air pollution. Water pollution can be defined as the introduction of dangerous substances into rivers, oceans, lakes, streams, and ponds that alter the physical, chemical, or biological quality of the water. Indigenous creatures die as a result of the lack of oxygen in contaminated water. And because of water is the most important source of life, it is our primary responsibility to protect it from pollution. Here are some of the ways to fix water pollution. Avoid illegal fishing. Dispose of toxic chemicals properly. Don't throw trash into bodies of water. Do not dispose of oils in the sink. Limit the use of detergents and bleaches. Volunteer to help clean up beaches and rivers. Advocate against corporate polluters. One aspect of water pollution is so big it merits a separate discussion. Ocean plastic can be viewed as one of humanity's greatest failures. It's easy to look at the massive piles of mostly plastic trash in various oceans and think that humans consider the Earth to be one large garbage dump. Besides the damage done to the species in the oceans, we are also creating a catastrophe for ourselves. As marine animals die off from ingesting and becoming tangled in plastic, we will lose a major source of food that much of the planet relies upon. The creatures who still remain will have plastic in them in addition to mercury and will poison those who eat them. Yeah, that means us. Coastal communities around the world need to be educated as to the effects of throwing their garbage into rivers and streams. Much of it ends up washing out to sea where it joins up with the waste of other regions to create giant garbage patches the size of countries. Some young visionaries have already created methods to extract plastic trash from the oceans in large amounts. These can be scaled up to have a huge impact for improving the situation. However, if a billion people still throw their garbage into bodies of water every day, this problem will never be solved. Up next, air pollution. Air pollution is caused by industrial pollutants, vehicular emissions, and the increased usage of fossil fuels. The Earth's temperature has risen as a result of gaseous emissions. Not only that, but it's also damaged the health of millions of people. 
One only has to look at the air quality of like cities like Beijing to understand when civilization has gone too far. With choking, burning air most days of the year, residents are compelled to wear masks simply just to walk down the street. Long-term exposure to Beijing's air has serious repercussions to people's health. And there are many other megacities around the world with a similar problem. It is the current issue that we face, but it is a result of 200 years of burning things that release poisons into the air. The Industrial Revolution from the early 1800s onward was focused on progress and the invention of many machines and vehicles driven by combustion. Trains, cars, furnaces, factories, mines, and eventually planes belched innumerable tons of filthy black toxins into the air. We can't just sit and wait for it to be cleaned. These are the ways to prevent air pollution. Use public transport. Avoid smoking outside. Turn off the lights when not in use. Reduction of forest fires. Avoid using spray can products with chemicals. Use of fans instead of air conditioner and avoid using air refreshing materials. That wraps up our list for the various environmental catastrophes we need to fix right now. What are you waiting for? Let us all help our Mother Earth for she is our planet and our home. Even our micro efforts can lead us to macro effects in saving it. What other environmental problems are you concerned about? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so we can continue giving you the best content fresh in you. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next video.